let's get to the news. It was announced today that First Lady Melania Trump's parents are now officially U.S. citizens. They passed their citizenship test when they were asked, who's the president of the United States? And they replied, our idiot son-in-law. <laughs> In an interview last night, Rudy Giuliani said the Russia investigation is going to lead to very big reforms, just like Watergate, saying it will be, quote, a different kind of Watergate. It's on the side of the investigator. He then continued, yeah, this Trump thing is just like Watergate. No, not that kind of Watergate, a reverse Watergate. I should never have said Watergate. Why did I say Watergate? <laughs> stupid, Rudy, stupid. <laughs> According to sources within the White House, many Defense Department officials do not support President Trump's push to create a military space force. Kind of like how you don't let your kid pick what car you buy. Following the launch of his own charter school, nearly 14,000 people have signed an online petition to make LeBron James the Secretary of Education, even though we already have one. Who is it now? Asked Betsy DeVos. <laughs> the New York Times has reported $24 million in profit for the second quarter of this year. You're supposed to report profit? Asked Paul Manafort. This is, this is exciting news. An abandoned Aerosmith tour van from the 1970s was recently found in a Massachusetts backyard. It's pretty beat up, but somehow it still works, said someone about Steven Tyler. <laughs> the NFL's Arizona Cardinals have launched a new competition where fans can win a team jersey and get their photo on the scoreboard if they eat a burger consisting of five patties, five hot dogs, five bratwursts, eight slices of bacon, eight chicken tenders, 12 ounces of fries, lettuce, pickles, sauce, and 20 slices of cheese in under an hour. Said one fan, ugh, lettuce? <laughs> That's what we call a long walk. A beach near San Francisco yesterday hosted the annual World Dog Surfing Championships, and just like last year, the surfers had a really hard time staying on their dogs. <laughs> Construction workers recently found a 124-year-old time capsule underneath a school in Massachusetts that contains two newspapers, Civil War medals, and the first season of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Auntie Anne's... Auntie Anne's has announced it will begin selling pumpkin spice pretzel nuggets next month. So if you like pumpkin spice and you like eating at the mall, you could probably use some good news. <laughs> and finally, new research has found that settlers of North America took more than one route to get to the continent. Unfortunately, the ones who used Apple Maps didn't make it.